Hello everyone, this is the Daily Devotional video for October 31st, 2016. The passage today is 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verses 1 through 5. Um, before I read that, I do want to let you know in advance, I have been having some coughing issues and, and things like that, and have had drinks in my water, so I apologize if that happens during the video. I apologize if my phone goes off, if I cough, sneeze, whatever may happen. I don't know. Anyway, okay. First Thessalonians chapter 1, verses 1 through 5. And I already have to get a drink. My throat's dry for some reason. Okay. Whew. It starts out with a greeting. It says, uh, Paul, Sil Sil Silvanus, and Timothy, to the church of the Thessalonians, and God the Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We give thanks to God always for you all, making mention of you in our prayers, Re remembering without ceasing your work of faith, labor of love, and patience of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ, in the sight of our God and Father, knowing, beloved brethren, your e election by God. For our gospel did not come to you in word only, but also in power and in the Holy Spirit and in much assurance, as you know, what kind of men we were among you for your sake. <clears throat> and the title for today's devotional is Our Labor of Love. I already had wet my nose. I'm so sorry. Uh, uh, everything's happening to me. Everything's hit me at once. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> Coughing again. The moment that we place our, our yeah, our labor of love. I already said that. Our labor of love. See, I'm already getting all discombobulated. Our labor of love is the title. Okay. The moment that we place our trust in Jesus Christ as our personal Savior, we become new creations. This is an act of love by the Heavenly Father. He gives us new life and adopts us into His family. He also has a custom-designed plan for every believer with specific work for each one to accomplish. Once we are saved, the rest of our days are to be spent fulfilling God's purposes for our life. Okay, hold on. Phone call. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. Like I said, everything's happening today. We are called to be Jesus' disciples, acting on His behalf and working zealously for God, as the Savior did. The world is hungry for the good news which we are to deliver. Redemption is God's gift offered to us free of charge. You can read about that in Ephesians 2, 8, and 9. Salvation is by grace, not by grace plus works. Once we are saved, however, works are God's will for us. The Holy Spirit carries out Jesus' agenda on earth through his followers. God has committed himself to guide and equip believers to act as his servants. No matter what he calls us to do, he will provide the necessary abilities and resources. His Holy Spirit will teach us whatever we need to know, such as effective ways to relate to pour ourselves out on behalf of others, and to share our faith. He expects us to make serving Him a priority, and to surrender our time, talent, and treasure for His use. Um, age does not disqualify us from His service, 
and there is never a time for retirement. While we are living on Earth, our lifestyle is to be one of enthusiastic, committed service in the cause of Christ. Let your work for God be a genuine labor of love. I love that. Um, take time every day to pray, to study God's word, go to church, find a good church that preaches the Bible and teaches solid Christian values, share your faith with others, encourage other people, lift them up, and, and, um, be Christ to someone today and every day. I love you all so much. Um, send me an email at the email address down below for me and pray for you, and I will. I love you all so much. Before I call for sneeze or my phone goes off again, I'm going to go ahead and go. I love you all. Have a blessed day.